Hi, my name is Mike Olivelle. I'm a professional sports photographer from Tallahassee, Florida, and today I'm going to create a video on how to shoot a golf tournament, a professional golf tournament. I had the privilege of going down to Tavistock to shoot the annual Tavistock Cup, which is an event that takes place in Orlando, Florida, between golfers from various clubs who come together to play in a Ryder Cup type format. Now, typically, when I do these videos, I actually take you out onto the course or out onto the floor of a basketball game and I will talk to you during the videos, but since this is golf and I can't talk while golfers are swinging, I am going to try to walk you through the equipment that I use and some of the shots that I look for before we actually head out to the course. The equipment that I'll be using at this particular tournament includes my Nikon D3 on which I will have my 200 to 400 millimeter f4 lens. Now normally I like to use my 400 millimeter f2.8, but that lens is so heavy that I don't like carrying it around the golf course all day because you're basically walking about seven miles during the course of any given day. The 200 to 400 is a lot lighter and since it's daytime I don't need the speed of the f2.8 lens on the 400. I will also carry my 80 to 200 millimeter f2.8 zoom lens on my D300 which gives me a nice focal range to use for other shots. Um, in a pouch or in my belt bag I will also carry an assortment of lenses including my 15 millimeter fisheye, my 17 to 35 millimeter f2.8 wide angle lens and sometimes I'll also carry the uh, 35 to 70 millimeter f2.8 lens that I use quite frequently for a lot of different types of shots. What you want to do when you're shooting a golf tournament is you want to position yourself so that you are on the face side of the golfer. In other words, if a golfer is right-handed, you would stand to his left so that after he swings, his face will be visible in the frame. You also want to try to get the ball coming off of the club head or in the frame as well. Do not ever fire your shutter on the golfer's backswing. You have to time it so that right at impact is when you begin to fire and then follow through as he finishes. Some positions or some poses that are good are when at the end of the golfer's swing, when they're posing after they've hit their shot, those are good shots to get. Um, you also want to try to get bunker shots. Bunker shots are always very pretty when the sand explosion coming off of the club and the ball's in the frame. Try to look for different unique angles, unique perspectives. Sometimes I'll shoot from behind the golfers with a wide angle lens and I'll show you some examples in a little bit. So. Try different things. Don't just stand in one place all the time and get the same photos over and over and over again. Try to vary what you're trying to get so that you get a variety of different shots. And don't forget the pageantry of the event. The different things that you'll see out on the golf course, the uh, golfers chit-chatting with each other, those kinds of things always make for good photos. So if you're ready, let's head out to the course and let's get some shots. This is Isleworth. We're here to shoot the Tavistock Cup, the clubhouse. Cutting green, here comes the chopper bringing in one of the teams. It will be landing out here on the first fairway. View of the course. And this is the media workroom at Tavistock, where we have been downloading photos and uploading stuff. Tiger Woods warming up. Is that a copy? Is that one? Sean O'Hare. Stuart Appleby. Robert Allenby. <laughs> Some of the Queenswood boys. Adam Scott. Thomas Bjorn. Ladies and gentlemen, Ross Fisher. I had the misfortune of being a, the being assigned to his group yesterday. He wanted me to wear my red, my blue shirt today, but I decided to go with Isleworth because they're going to win. <laughs> Say hello to your YouTube fans here, Ross. Hi, YouTube fans. <laughs> and here we have his cohort in crime, Oliver Wilson, the second person that I had in my group yesterday. Photographed me falling in a bunker. And I did. I photographed him falling into a bunker. By the way, Mr. Stenson, I just wanted to ask you, uh, how does it feel to have Ross Fisher on your team? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's, it's horrible, really. It, it is. I yeah. mean, I had to follow his group all day yesterday. I understand. Completely. It's a bit like stuck between a rock and a hard place, really. But what to do, huh? <laughs> this is the first tee box. The third group is getting ready to go off. I'm going to be where those photographers are right there. 
That way when the right-handed players hit, I will have their face in the ball. Here we have my group. David Faraday is over there talking with Ross Fisher and Oliver Wilson. Over here we have Mr. Sean O'Hare. Ladies and gentlemen, Gary McCord, boys and girls, Gary McCord. What pearls of wisdom do you have for us I today? I have none. You have so none? No, no, I'm just living the dream. Well, say something about Faraday. Living the dream. He's an idiot. He's standing right over there. <laughs> He's a tool. <laughs> He's a tool. <laughs> He's a tool in a toolbox no one has. Now, Mr. Oh God. Mr. Faraday, um... You know who you're wearing those shorts? Like, are that, is that on purpose? These are my boxer shorts. Oh, right. Uh, Mr. McCord says you're a tool in a toolbox that nobody has. Your reaction to that comment, sir? I, uh, you know, if the... If the tool fits, use it. I don't know. I don't know what he's talking about most of the time. He's uh, he's an elderly man that wanders off on his own. And this is Justin Rose getting ready to tee off. We, uh, does your, is your rail swing faster than that? I'm just saying, that's not going to go very far. I mean, you, I know you got one on the fairway, but... I just threw you over and think, yeah. David Faraday is talking to him right now. No, I'd say I wouldn't have gone there. See, that wasn't me. Like... Justin Rose. This is the first green. The players have already hit up. Always try to position yourself so that if they're right-handed putters, you'll see the face. All right, so we're back in the hotel room after the tournament, and I'm going to show you some examples of some of the shots that I got. This is what I mean by trying to stay to the left side of the golfer, of a right-handed golfer, catching the ball as it's coming off of the club head. You can just barely see the ball on this small screen here. You can barely see the ball right there, but there's the ball, there's the club head, and you can see the ball coming off right at impact. That's Adam Scott, and uh, he has just hit his tee shot on number one. And this would be Oliver Wilson. The ball's up here, club head's here, face at impact. You can do the same thing in the fairway. I believe this is Justin Rose. No, this is Ross Fisher. And there's the ball. There's the club head. The pose shots after they hit their shots, those always make for interesting images. And then the bunker shot. You can see the ball and the explosion of sand. That's Stuart Appleby. Chip shots. The ball's up here. The club head here. Divot is coming off of the club head. Putting. You always try to get a few putting shots. You can either get them from behind the player so you can see their face or from in front, but you have to get very low angle in order to get their face. Lining up putts always makes for good photos. Pulling clubs out of the bag. And then the occasional candid shot of the player smiling or laughing. Interesting angles, interesting situations. This is Oliver Wilson who hit his ball behind some trees or some brush and was looking to the pin to see where he should place his next shot. Moving on to the next hole, kind of the pageantry look. Graham McDowell after he arrived on the course being taken to the driving range. This is one of the shots that I took from behind Tiger Woods as he was hitting to the number two green with my fish eye. And this is Adam Scott teeing off on the same hole, but from the side using just a wide angle lens. Just a different look from the typical kinds of golf shots. And then some of the pageantry type things. The caddy bibs, the golf bags, head covers, some of the scenery on the course. And that's pretty much it. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook. It's Miguel Antonio. Olivella, O-L-I-V-E-L-L-A, -L -L or you can follow me on my website, www.baselineshots.com. Thanks a lot.